Hello, Mark Satterfield here. Thanks so much for joining me. I want to talk today about one of the most common reasons why affluent marketing campaigns don't work and to be helpful, what you can do immediately today to avoid that happening to you. Look, nothing is more discouraging than figuring out a marketing campaign, a uh, affluent sales initiative, putting it out there and it drops like just, you know, a dead frog interesting illusion there. But anyway, uh, you get my point. And that can be very, very discouraging. And the worst thing about discouraging is that it can make you decide that, hey, this may not work. Maybe I should be focusing on the mass market. Maybe I should be doing something else. Hey, maybe I should be shutting down my business. And that's a shame. Now, the reason why we tend to get discouraged is because we put our proverbial eggs all in one basket. And then when that particular basket or marketing campaign doesn't work, it's natural that we get extremely discouraged. And the more that we have a lot of irons in the fire, the less the likelihood is that we're going to get discouraged when one thing doesn't work out. And when I was putting together this book, The Affluent Marketing Blueprint, that was my strategy, was to give you really a, a variety of different kinds of tactics and strategies you can use. Now, if you've been a reader of my books over the years, you know I don't always do that. I did a book before this called The One Week Marketing Plan, and it was very simple in terms of how you set up a sales and marketing funnel. And it walked you through the steps, and it said, you know, do this, then do that, and then do this other thing. And if you, uh, if you do all of this stuff, you will have a marketing system up and running, doing what it's supposed to be doing in a very short period of time. And that's great. And it works. The problem is that it's not for everyone. And so when I put together the Affluent Marketing Blueprint, I wanted to give you a lot of different options. And I wanted to do that because for a couple of reasons. One, uh, one thing may resonate more with you than another, but also it gives you a lot of different proverbial irons in the fire. And the more you have those irons in the fire, the greater the likelihood is that one of them is really going to work out well for you and it's going to damp down, diminish, and eliminate that discouragement that we all periodically feel. So my advice is get your copy of the Affluent Marketing Blueprint, read it through again, highlight you know, one, two, or three of those strategies that you're not doing and put them in action. Because remember, you know, you can't learn to swim by reading a book. And although the book is great, ultimately it gets down to you doing stuff. So go ahead, take a look at the book, pick out, you know, a few of the strategies that work really well or you think will work really well for your particular market and then go forth and implement them. So hope you found this to be helpful. As always, thank you so much for being a part of my community. If you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do that. If you know of other people who are marketing to the wealthy and the affluent, hey, pass this along to them. It's uh, good for them. It's great karma for you. And yeah, of course, it's good for me. All right, I'll be back at you soon with, uh, with something new. But until then, this is Mark Satterfield. Bye for now.